Hello, and welcome to Baltimore City Community College. In this video, we are going to cover how to find the MyBCCC page, how to log into Canvas from MyBCCC, Canvas Navigation Basics, where to find your syllabus, how to find and submit assignments, how to reply to discussions, and how to take Canvas quizzes. The time codes for each topic are listed in the video description below, so feel free to jump around to what you need. How to find the MyBCCC and log into Canvas. To access your BCCC student account information, you need to go to MyBCCC. To do this, go to the Baltimore City Community College homepage, bccc.edu. Click the My BCCC icon at the top of the page. Here, you will find links to all other online accounts you will need as a student. The Panther Portal will show you your student profile, registrations and transcripts, and other relevant course information. The Student Email tab will take you to your student email, and the Canvas link is how you will access your class content and interact with your instructor and peers online. Click the Canvas icon to log in. Your login is going to be one of two formats depending on when you became a student at BCCC. You will have the first version if you were a student at BCCC prior to fall of 2022. If your username has four digits at the end, for example, jsmith5032, your default password will start with the same four numbers as your username, followed by your birthday in a year, month, day format. So, if John Smith was born July 20th, 1990, his username, jsmith5032, his default password would be 5032-1990-0720. If you became a student at BCCC after or during the fall semester of 2022, your username may have no digits or only one digit, for example, jsmith or jsmith1. If this is the case, your initial password will start with an uppercase B, C, C, and a lowercase C with an underscore, followed by your birthday in a year, month, day format, plus the first initial of your first name. So for example, John Smith, who was born on July 20th, 1990, his username would be J Smith, and the password would be an uppercase B, C, C, lowercase C, underscore, 1990-0720, and an uppercase J. Once you enter your login information, you should be able to get logged into Canvas, and your Canvas dashboard should appear. Canvas Navigation. The global navigation is the gray bar on the left-hand side of the page. It is called the global navigation because this toolbar will be accessible to you regardless of what page you are on in Canvas. Here, you will find a plethora of helpful tools. First, under Account, you will find options to update your profile, add a bio, and a photo. You can also use this menu to update your notification settings and manage your user files. The dashboard button will always take you back to that front page of Canvas. The Courses tab is where you can find your currently active courses as well as your archived courses from previous semesters. As you take classes across multiple semesters, courses will be automatically removed from your dashboard and archived onto this page. Simply click on Courses, All Courses, to view your previously completed classes or adjust the courses that remain on your dashboard by clicking the star icon to favorite the courses you want to see. Other useful items on this menu include the Library course and the Help menu. 
For quick access to library resources, simply click the Library tab and you will get access to their current hours, BCCC's Web Guides and Digital Library, the Library Help Chat, and other items. The Help menu will provide you with further help guides provided by both Canvas and BCCC staff. Here you can find the e-learning contact information as well as the 24-7 Canvas support for off hours and other links and services provided by the school. To the right of the global navigation, you will see squares displaying your currently active courses. You can click on the course title to enter the course. Once in your course, you will see a second left-hand menu next to the global navigation. This is your course navigation that you will use to access assignments, modules, and other course activities. Finding your syllabus. In your Canvas course, your instructor will post the syllabus for the class. You can likely find this by clicking the Syllabus tab on the course navigation. Clicking this will at minimum show you the assignments in the course, as well as a breakdown for how the grading will work within the course but faculty may provide more detailed information as well. You can also feel free to look for a syllabus inside the modules area of a course, as some instructors post it there as well. How to find and submit assignments. There are two places in Canvas where your assignment may be posted. First, under modules. The second, under assignments. You will need to ask your instructor which one they prefer to use in their course. The Modules tab has multiple types of items, including readings, general course information, assignments, and quizzes, all in one place. Some teachers will use this area to organize the course week by week or project by project, so it's good to check for your work here. You can also directly click the Assignments tab to find all the available assignments in the course. To view and submit the assignment, click the assignment title. At the top of the screen, you will see the assignment information, such as directions for the assignment, how much it's worth, when it's due, and other relevant information. You should also see a Start Assignment button in the top right corner. To submit your work, click this button. Here, you will be redirected to a page where you can either upload a file or type in a text box depending on how your instructor has set up the submissions. To upload a file, just click the Choose File button, then click Upload. The confetti will indicate that you have successfully submitted your work. How to reply to discussions. Your instructor may also ask you to participate in a discussion. You can find the Discussions tab either in the Modules area or under Discussions. To participate in discussions, simply click the title of the discussion, read the prompt provided by your instructor, and hit the Reply button. This will open a text box to post your work. If your instructor asks you to reply to your peers, simply click the Reply button located under their response to start a thread. How to take Canvas quizzes. The last item in Canvas that we will be talking about today is Canvas quizzes. Your instructor may ask you to take a quiz online through Canvas. If that is the case, like other Canvas coursework, you may be able to find the quiz either in a module or under quizzes. Much like assignments, when you click the quiz title, it will tell you quiz information, such as the due date and the length of time you have to take the quiz. When you're ready, clicking the Take This Quiz button will launch the quiz for you, and the timer will start if there is a time limit. Thank you for taking the time to watch our orientation. If you have any questions or Canvas problems, please reach out to BCCC's eLearning staff for any Canvas help that you need. Our staff are available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can reach us at 
462-8016 or via email at online at bccc.edu.